So, you have a Christmas movie for me. Yes, sir, I do. So the main character is this guy named Howard, and he's a workaholic. Uh-oh, a workaholic at Christmas time? That can't be good. Right, so he accidentally spends too much time selling mattresses and has to rush to his kid's karate class that he promised he'd be at. Oh, is he gonna make it? No, he's too late. He walks into an empty gym like, ah, I didn't make it. Did he not notice the completely empty parking lot? I guess not. Huh. So then he goes home and, you know, bribes his son. He bribes his son? He does. He's like, hey, I'll buy you the Turbo Man doll you want for Christmas if you stop being mad at me for being a bad dad. That's a pretty good deal, actually. But then his wife is like, yeah, I told you to get that doll like two weeks ago. Did you not get it? And he's like, of course I did, you silly wife. Wow, so this guy is a goddamn liar. Yeah, a compulsive one. So then he has to find this toy on Christmas Eve or he's gonna get caught in his lie. Okay. And so, yeah. What? That's it. That's the movie. That's the whole premise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool, right? I guess, but it seems pretty thin. There's nothing else going on. Oh, well, also his neighbor Ted is trying really hard to bang his wife, so we're gonna check in on that from time to time. Oh, wow, that's pretty intense for a kid's movie. Yeah, real intense. But I guess if the wife is kind of falling for Ted in a way, then it could show that Howard might lose her. Yeah, no, she's not into Ted at all. She's kind of weirded out by him, and at the end of the movie, she hits him for trying something. So we're gonna have an entire side story where the neighbor is trying to bang the wife, but there's no risk of that actually happening. Exactly. Did you just throw that in there to pad the runtime? Uh, you got me. There was only so much I could do with the storyline of trying to make a purchase. Fair enough. And so what kind of stuff does happen to Howard as he tries to buy the toy? Oh, well, just a whole bunch of scenes that all end in violence. Every scene ends in violence? Pretty much. See, I never learned how to write endings to things, so every interaction ends in some kind of physical attack. Well, at least it's consistent. Yeah, so anyway, Howard is gonna go to a store where there's a huge crowd of people waiting to rush in when the doors open. Okay. And he's gonna meet a crazy mailman, Myron, who goes on a huge rant about how toy companies are brainwashing us through screens. Oh, screen rants are tight. Yeah, and then he chokes a random woman. He chokes a woman? I didn't know how to end his rant. Oh, so it just gets violent. I gotcha. And then the doors open and it just gets crazy. Everybody runs around and fights each other. Jeez. So Howard goes up to an employee to ask about the Turbo Man doll and everybody in the store starts to laugh at him. Why? Well, cause Turbo Man is sold out and everybody knows it. If everybody knew that, what were they all rushing in for? I don't know. The store seems to be fully stocked up on everything else. Huh. So later they find out that another store got a late shipment and they're doing a lottery with a bunch of bouncy balls for some reason. Okay. And instead of trying to grab one of the many balls bouncing around the store, Howard chases one specific one outside of the store. Not the best strategy. Definitely not. And then a little girl grabs it and Howard gets mistaken for a pedophile. And this is a kid's movie. It is. So then Howard grabs a little girl and a bunch of mothers start to hit him with their purse because they think he's gonna sexually assault his child. Oh my lord. And then this mall Santa says that he has a Turbo Man toy, so Howard follows him to a warehouse where everybody's dressed like Santa. Why would they all be dressed like Santa if they're working inside a warehouse? So the scene can end with Howard fighting a bunch of Santas. Oh, I gotcha. So at least we have fun set pieces for the violence. Yeah, and then the cops are gonna burst in. Oh man, it's gonna be hard for him to get out of that situation. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, he just grabs a toy badge and impersonates a police officer. Officer. Isn't that a felony? Technically, in Minnesota, it's a gross misdemeanor, so he'd only go to jail for a year. Oh, okay. Anyway, so then they find out that a radio station is giving away the toy. Interesting. So they head over there, and Howard busts one of their doors. Man, this guy is on a crime spree. You have no idea. So then Myron threatens the cops with a fake bomb so they can escape. Oh, my God. But then it turns out it was a real bomb, and it explodes. Oh, so the police officers die? No, if I understand correctly, a bomb can go off in your hands, and it'll just kind of paint your face black. Oh, bombs aren't dangerous? No, they'll ruin your clothes, though. Good to know. And so how does the movie end? Well, Howard is gonna get chased by the cops at a parade because of all the crimes he did. That makes sense. And then he's gonna accidentally get put in a Turbo Man costume that has a working jetpack. Oh, that's a world-changing invention. And then Myron is gonna dress up like Turbo Man's nemesis and try to murder Howard's kid to take his toy. What? It's gonna be a whole thing, and then Myron is gonna get arrested because of the terrorism and the attempted murder. Well, thank goodness. And then I figured I should throw in a nice Christmas moment, so Howard's son is gonna to give the doll to Myron. Won't that just end up in some evidence locker? Probably. Wow, and so what's this movie called anyway? Oh, nobody told me I was supposed to come up with a title. That's okay, we'll just slap some generic Christmas line on there. Do you think people will mind that it's gonna have nothing to do with the movie? No, it's fine. We'll just grab a line from some Christmas song everybody loves, like Dashing Through the Snow, or maybe...
Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a lot more of these on the channel that you can check out. You could also let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see these pitches for. Don't forget to like and comment and share and subscribe. And as always, check back soon for a new one. Bye-bye.